Welcome back to the AC Method podcast. It might be a little bit different today. Uh, unfortunately, Aaron couldn't make it. We are moving to a new warehouse. So me, Monsi, and Nick Trejo here are going to be taking over the podcast today. Uh, it, you know, unfortunately, he couldn't make it. So we're going to go ahead and do it. We are his production team. You've probably seen me on his podcast episodes before already. So this won't be new news to you guys. So Nick, let's take it away. Sure. Uh Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, a little bit of a different scene here. We're usually behind the scenes, especially myself. So this is fresh and new to me, but excited to be here. Excited that we're able to step in and help uh, Aaron out as he goes on to his next venture. And he's going to go ahead and have a new podcast studio that he's building out, a brand new fresh start on a building that he's in, which is super exciting. He's been working on acquiring a building for a couple years now and actually falling out on some deals and then finally nailing something. So He's moving uh, into this new place now. Super excited. It's going to have its revisions that he's got to do. I know he was asking you specifically a lot of questions on, is this the right table color I need to get? What should I do on the walls? We can wrap this. And um, There's not so sure where that's going to go. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, I mean, I think about it like in what we do right now, like we do production side of things. Production on a new warehouse, literally from the ground up, it, it takes a lot of time. And I know this has been a project of his that it's you know getting pushed back getting pushed back just like on the interior alone and just like what's going to go inside the actual studio itself also yeah he got feedback from us and and all that we did a lot of research on other podcast studios that we see and that we love online so definitely excited to get that going so maybe next week we'll get a podcast recording from the new office he will be cranking away if he's able to get that podcast. I'm room excited to see the content rubbing. blow up for Aaron. Yeah, and I guess kind of segueing into what this next chapter looks for the AC method and for Aaron and the team there is, you know, really ramping up on the content and the ability to get creative on uh, not only the, in the content space um, and what he's pushing out there and the value that he's adding out there, but also. Uh, some of the different spaces in his new um, office space to be able to host events and to get content from that um, and to maybe look at doing some other uh, kind of, um, uh, you know, mentorship ideas and programs and stuff. Um, he, just allowing the bandwidth that where he's pushing to the next limit now to really build on his personal brand, mm -hmm. Aaron Clippinger more. AC Method obviously is a side channel, you know, with the podcast, um, which we've, you know, it's been over a year now yeah. that you've been working on it, but I, it's it's cool to see where he has taken this reiteration on stepping to the next level. And that's just going to open, I think, a lot of opportunities for him moving forward. Oh, I, I'm excited to see that happen. And you're right on the whole, like creating training, you know, whatever in person, whatever it may be, it, he's going to increase his network mm -hmm. and increase his, the, you know, the, the wealth that he brings to people. Like yeah. Aaron is such a giving person. He has all this value. I mean, look at the podcast the last year. He's just been providing value for mm -hmm. free. Right. You know, just providing all this value, not asking for anything <clears throat> or whatever it may be. And now that he has this, you know, warehouse coming up, he's actually able to give into that passion more about giving to other people and providing that value. And I'm excited to see it happen. And speaking on it, one thing that you mentioned was the uh, network. Yes. Which I think is going to grow a lot this year. And I think that was one of the topics we kind of wanted to talk about on this uh, episode is your network is your net worth. Correct. And that couldn't be truer. And I know you know that firsthand. I know that firsthand. Uh, but the power of being able to one, share your message and get it out there to a new fresh audience into your existing, you just don't know what kind of connections you're going to make through that. It may not be directly to the person that is listening, or uh, ingesting what your content is or what you're sharing with them, but it might play telephone and go to the next person down. What's that whole, I forget what it is. How many people are we apart, separation apart? Was it six people? Something well, like that, yeah. Something like that, but that's how it works. It, it just playing telephone and, and it might come back to you in that way. And it might not happen as far as, um, you know, building your network and getting opportunities that come in. It might, you know, not happen overnight, but as far as, getting your message out there and building your network, it might 
you're planting the seeds for the future. And that's exactly what I always say. I always say I plant the seeds yeah. and, and not intentionally either. I'm, I'm very big on relationships and like really nurturing the relationships. I always go without the transactional approach always when I go into any kind of mastermind or any kind of meeting, whatever it may be. I always go into it of like, how can I build this relationship and not necessarily get anything out of it? But at the same time, just plant the seed later on. That's happened to me many times with just clients alone where I've known them for years or I've known them for months and then plant the seed there, you know, whatever it is, build the relationship, like actually genuinely care about building that relationship. And then six months, one year later, we're doing business together. Mm -hmm. Like I absolutely love doing that. Right. And, you know, another topic on that as well is really just the uh, not only does the relationship building play a part of it and obviously nurturing those relationships with a new network in a network you're trying to grow, but, uh, it also getting yourself into the right room, um, by getting your content and your voice out there, uh, can just, you know, really excel and put you in front of some people that you just didn't expect. And you might not be in the same industry either. Um, and I know, you know, with, you know, the AC method with, with Aaron, you know, I mean, Aaron, he's more than just the podcast, you know, Way he, um, you know, he's a very, uh, charismatic and energetic guy where he's going and he loves a dirt bike. The guy shreds. He has no biking. end. Like he doesn't stop. And, yeah. <laughs> and, but he does other things. My point is he, he's, he also does real estate. He yeah. invests in real estate. You know, he has obviously uh, square coil and he has integrated science. He has this podcast. He has his family. He's a and big he, family guy. Yeah, he gives in so much mm -hmm. for family. Like, like I said, this guy does not stop. Like every single minute of the day, there's something planned. Yeah. Even when he's sleeping, I feel like he has a little <laughs> calendar of just like, I'm about to wake up in five minutes and I'm going to go straight to my cold plunge and then my sauna, or I think it's reverse that he yeah. does it. I don't know, but he always has something going on. And when he doesn't have something going on, I feel like he's just like, what's the next project? <laughs> but, but yeah, exactly. And, and so there's so much to one person. So how can like the audience take away something that Aaron does and what we see for Aaron and what he knows, and it's getting that message more out there and, and obviously him making this move. Hence why we're doing this podcast for him yes. today. Um, is that, uh, essentially getting him to build his network uh, large enough where he can maybe attract audiences that maybe aren't solely focused, you know, cause he's a, the sign business master, mm -hmm. you know, commercial signage, that's his bread and butter, what he does. Um, but he's also into real estate. Yeah. He's also, you know, um, into, you know, shooting. He's also in into, um, writing dirt bike. So it's the point is, is that you build your audience in different angles where maybe they're not just interested in what you're doing from, you know, integrated signs or the signage business, but maybe they are interested in what real estate has to offer. Maybe they're interested in partnering and doing some kind of mentorship kind of program or some seminar stuff, especially since he has this new, you know, space that he's opening up. It, the ability to network and the opportunities that can come with that through the content you put out there, through the relationships that you build, um, really kind of just open that window more and focusing on different areas too, that you might find people that find more interest in, you know? Yeah. And no, I, I completely agree. I mean, on this, I want to say the last year, you know, I, I wasn't at the house very much, you know, like, and working in the actual office business and, and all that, I was traveling quite a bit, just myself building my own network. Of, mm -hmm. um, of just of people, of connections, of opportunities. It was a lot I, of energy and effort. A lot of energy and effort. A lot of money too. A lot of money. I, yeah. I invested well over six figures in myself yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, but I, I do not, you know, I do not regret that one bit because it came back to me. There's definitely a great return on investment on that one for sure. Like the biggest thing you can do is invest in yourself. Yeah. And, um, but like to my point is that I made, I, I went to a lot of rooms where I didn't necessarily felt right to be in, you know, I didn't necessarily be like, I wasn't always in the right rooms, but I still built connections there. And I still became friends with other people that maybe down the line, they'll reach out to me. I know it's happened to me already before in the mm -hmm. past where just on social media alone, they'll reach out and be like, Hey, remember me, blah, 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 blah. And you know, built that connection. And there was an opportunity right there. 
But did I really necessarily think that that mastermind was for me? Probably not. I mean, name of the game is relationships. Absolutely. You, know, you can have all the smarts in the world. You can have all the, uh, you know, resources or uh, knowledge in the world. But if you can't get your message to an audience or to people to uh, help you along the way, I mean, you can't, it's not a one game show. You can't do it by yourself. Yeah. You need a team around you to do it. And whether that's internally with your business or whether that's, you know, building a brand, you know, a personal brand like, like Aaron's doing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that is a team sport. Um, and people have their different aspects that they bring to the table to help push that out. But the value that, um, you know, can be shared through that and the opportunities that can come from that. I'm just, I'm pretty excited for Aaron just in this new um, chapter. Yeah. I know he's pretty excited. It's stressful, stressful, but you know, uh, diamonds are made under pressure. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like to say, what is it? The night is darkest just before the dawn. Yes. You know? I love I, that expression. I completely agree. Um, I mean, there's going to be so many opportunities for, for Aaron just in this warehouse alone. Not saying that it's just because of the warehouse that he's going to get all these opportunities. It's essentially who he is that brings mm -hmm. the opportunities to him. But, you know, I know we've been withholding guests from coming on and all that until we have like uh -huh. the right, you know, warehouse, the right vibe, the right setting and like even recording content that we really want him to record. We've been holding back until <laughs> he has the right space and also that way. He comes off as professional as he is, as charismatic as he is. You know, it's just like we want to make sure that it's the right image for him. And granted, everything's going to be raw and real, too. It doesn't necessarily have to be completely curated, but it's going to be a new a, a new spot for him, a new segment, a new chapter, let's put it. Well, he's at that place. He grew. Correct. And so he's not comfortable with the certain you know place that he's in now as far as his content in his studio which is it's great it mm -hmm. looks great but he's mentally in that other space now correct he's moved on to the he's like okay this is how big i'm thinking this is where i started which was great but this is where i'm at now and so his level of thinking has changed which he's growing in that sense which is awesome to see and you know the beautiful thing at least with us, you know, being a part of his, you know, uh, production and content team is that uh, the ability when he's in that space and he's fully comfortable when he gets there um, to be able to bring in our network of people to yeah. come in and he can feel confident and he can feel invigorated and he can feel like there's a fresh new start on a lot of things. And, and it's exciting and he's growing and it's uncertain and it's new and it's fresh. Obviously, he's up for the challenge. It's not like he's not a guy that won't, you know, if there's a wall, he'll put his head right through it until it yeah. breaks. <laughs> and uh, or he'll just walk around and just make it easy, you know. But um, it, it's definitely going to be pretty exciting, this new chapter and just the, uh, the ability to be able to be in that space and be in a new environment and to uh, what's going to going to come and attract from that uh, from a networking standpoint. So I, I do want to deep dive a little bit more so the audience can understand the whole concept of your network is your net worth. Yeah. So I want to I want to hear from you, like, what does that mean from you? And if you can put Aaron in that perspective, that, that'd be great, too. So the audience can get a little bit, you know, more understanding on that. Uh, man, I mean, it, it, net, network is your net worth. I mean, and net worth doesn't need to be monetarily. Mm -hmm. it, it could mean, um, you know, Emotionally, it could be spiritually, it could be, um, you know, relationship, um, it could be just knowledge, um, or it can be monetarily, but it, it really is about just growing um, yourself through the efforts and collaboration with other people, whatever angle that is, right? Yeah. There's a flavor out, there's how many different, you know, uh, flavors of ice cream out there, yeah. you know, pick your flavor, which one are you looking 31. for? 31, Baskin Robbins, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm simple. I'm just, I'm just vanilla <laughs> or chocolate. Uh, so no, in my experience, I mean, if you, you know, if you don't have the right team around you, uh, mentorship or the right network of people, it's a grind to think you're going to do it on your own. And that's just not how life works, you know, and you know, that firsthand, like you wouldn't have been to where, you know, the, the, the company that, you know, you have built, I mean, it all came through just networks and people that you knew, but Absolutely. you put yourself in the right my people and you put yourself of, out yeah, there. Yeah, majority of my business is based off referrals. Yeah. You know, so it's absolutely, it's all about my network. I mean, and I, I hate to say it, but this is my most powerful tool. It's not my <laughs> company. It's not my business. It's not that. It's my phone because I have all the connections, all the people 
that I need on my phone. I can easily reach out to anyone in my network right now and have an answer to a solution mm -hmm. right away, instantly. And a lot of people wish that they had the contacts that I have in mind. But that's because I built the relationships. Exactly. And the amount of collaboration and value you received and just the friendships too alone, just being around those kind of individuals who are on a different level and they not only, you know, offer advice from a business standpoint, but also from a personal standpoint mm -hmm. through their experiences that they've been through. That's that that right there and and the show the the level of care and love that a lot of these uh, people that we network with mm -hmm. and and that you've built um relationships with uh because of who you are and and obviously kind of coming back to just this power of um the ability to to grow your network and have that be your net worth is that it provides so many different avenues of value for you um and resources for you that might not come back to you immediately, but are gonna come pay yourself in full because the stuff we've learned yeah. through these people, maybe it's not gonna pay off like right now, but it's going to pay off down the road, both if it's business, which obviously a majority of it was, yes. but emotionally wise and relationship wise as well. I yeah. mean, so the the power that, you know, with with this new space, with what the AC method is becoming and where Aaron is taking his content and his personal brand, uh, it's going to be pretty cool to see the transition. It's like, you know, Caterpillar going through its little yeah. cocoon stage, it's hibernating, yeah. and now it's like, okay, let's Give blossom, let's go fly. butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> I, I, you're a beautiful butterfly, Aaron. <laughs> I know. I, I agree. I'm, I mean, just having more and more people there in his, in his space and, mm -hmm. you know, the connections he's going to be building already. He does trade shows already. He's, you know, posting on social media, but having the people in that interaction, like face to face, it's going to be so valuable to him. Um, I, I'm excited to see this year of growth for mm -hmm. the AC method, for, um, you know, square coil, for any endeavor that he puts himself in, because we've seen behind the scenes of what he's doing that a lot of people don't know. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, God, this guy does not stop. Like it's one thing after the next. And I'm like, I fucking love it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to say cuss words on this I podcast? Think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can just cut that out. <laughs> that's, that's what we can do. Um, yeah, no, I, I, um, I'm excited. Um, I obviously Aaron is, um, and the team there and you know, it, I feel as though there's a fresh new hymn that's going, that people are going to see and people are going to enjoy. And there's going to be different looks and different avenues that people can see from him, um, versus just the podcast strictly. Right. Um, which is something I always wanted to do with him. I was just like, I don't want you to just be the podcast guy. Like, don't just be the podcast person. And the fact that he, he agreed to like, okay, I'm going to let the personal brand show. I'm going to show a little bit more of myself. I'm like, yes. Well, that comes with it. this new, I think that, that, that comes with this, uh, transition in this trans, phase. this transition yeah. in this phase, but also the fact that, you know, um, he's already seen the network that he's built just through do, doing his podcast and his yeah. content that he has. And I, and and so that alone shows like there is that potential there mm -hmm. uh and and opportunities have shown themselves because of that yeah but let's okay let's take it to the next level now yeah and he's there already and honestly the amount of support that he has not and not just from us you know obviously mm -hmm. we're here rooting him on and all that kind of stuff like we're we're friends more so than anything and we're also his production team but at the same time too like he has friends out there that we know like Andy Farmer is one of like his biggest cheerleaders and all that stuff. They talk every single day. And then that guy's a um, stud. Love you, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also has been on the podcast, Dr. Aaron Werner, you know, biggest mm -hmm. cheerleader there also. Like everyone is here to support Aaron on this new chapter. And honestly, I can't, I, we can, you know, give him all the kudos and credit that he deserves and needs and all that. This became like a cheerleading episode at the end, but Honestly, he, he deserves it. Well, because we're excited for him because we work with a, a bunch of different clients and from different spectrums, you know, whether they're small business and whether they're, you know, large corporations and um, whether they have a big influence and following on social media platforms or they don't or they're in the middle. Like we see that broad spectrum. So when we see 
something where Aaron's taking his content game to further grow his network, yeah. right? At the end of the day and opportunities with that, uh, we get excited. Yeah. So we want to cheerlead it on because we're like, yes, because it's just what I was talking to you about yesterday. There's a, for a couple clients that we have, the amount of content these guys put out or gals, but they just happen to be guys, the amount that they put out versus people who maybe aren't as consistent, mm -hmm. the, the discrepancy as far as when, if you want to think monetarily wise is freaking huge. Oh, absolutely. If you want to think brand wise is freaking huge. Mm -hmm. If you want to think influence wise is huge. Th there's no, it's a gap. Yeah. It's literally like a parting of the seas. And I, and I talked to you about that yesterday. I'm like, these guys have so much freaking content and that's why they're at where they're at versus yeah. others they're not taking it as serious or they're just not, not that they are not taking it as serious, but they're just not being as proactive yes. on doing the content and, and actually devoting time yeah. to sit down, record and get it out there. Mm -hmm. It was, it, it was pretty interesting well, to see that. I mean, you're a data guy, you know, you look at the yeah. numbers and you saw the numbers yesterday looking at like our spreadsheets and stuff. And you're like, when you brought it up to me, I was just like, Oh yeah, they're, they're like, constantly putting content but there's out. no question though that's yes. what was so when we see with aaron and, and the whole cheerleading aspect yeah. you know just to make the point here is that we're excited for it because yeah. that we just see like hey there, there's a great opportunity here like where we can see this kind of go to this next level and and really push in that direction and be supportive of aaron for that to get to that level and space where we see this gap like he's in that unknown space it, are we, let, let's go ahead and push this, here's the goal we can get there we're in this funky unknown space but there is a big gap that we see from our our clients and other people that we see there is a huge gap you you can have an opportunity to fill that gap and be in this this arena which we're we're excited about so, i'm i'm heavily excited about which it. comes down to the network it, it is your network absolutely. at the end of the day absolutely you yes know. it's it's you know it's a team effort it really mm -hmm. is yeah um, it's who you know at the end of the day also um that really does help as well but cool. super excited for it well i think this was a great podcast something probably a different look and refreshing probably for the audience to yeah. see and they're you know, at first you're just like, who's this beautiful woman right here? And who's this ugly bald guy right here? Like, <laughs> We're the projection team, you guys. <laughs> Aaron, don't worry. He'll be back next week. Don't worry about it, you guys. Uh, this was just a little time being. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're helping with the transition yes. for, for this week. But uh, yeah, great episode. A lot to take away. Um, and a lot of exciting stuff that, you know, we're, we're obviously cheerleading for but Absolutely. but stoked to see Aaron take the leap on and you know it will be a great year of growth at the end of the day I agree and you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have any comments regarding this please do add so on the comments below we will answer them we always do so if you have anything let us know and until next time bye bye y'all <laughs>